In this video, I'd like to show you the graduated filter inside of Camera Raw. So in front of me, I have an image open here, and it actually is a JPEG image, but this works all the same. What you can do inside of Camera Raw is add what's called a graduated filter. If you're a photographer, you'll recall this from the actual physical filters that you can attach in front of a camera that allows you to really just darken part of the sky, part of the land, part of the scene, actually. And you can replicate this somehow and somewhat inside of a camera roll. So at the top in my toolbar, I want to select this little filter icon, which is the graduated filter. And what I want you to do is make sure the new is selected here, and I just want to drag down. So you'll get a green and a red one, and between this here, you will have the change happening. And afterwards, you can reposition this. So say I want things to go over here, right in the grass middle section. Now, I don't want to up the exposure here at the top. Maybe I want to down the exposure slightly, or just increase the contrast a lot. Let's add some clarity. Oh, let's add some sharpness. And this is where you can begin to see the details. So if I had preview, this is before, this is after, but I did not affect the grass at the bottom, just the, the top bit. And you can actually add as many graduated filters as you'd like. For example, if I click new here, and I drag out another set here, let's do one from bottom and up, so we can affect, let's say, just the bottom part. What you can do here is if you click on any of these points, you can drag that point around. If you click on the bottom point, you can drag that point around. Or if you click in the middle here, in the dotted line, you can reposition this anywhere in the entire frame you want. So here I don't want the contrast up by as much. Let's just a tad increase the sharpness, not as much, not as much clarity. Actually, let's add some clarity to make a difference. And let's saturate it a bit. Let's do do it too much here so you can act really see what I'm doing. Saturating it, increasing the exposure and the contrast here. And you'll see the difference between before and after. We were affecting different areas with different styles, with different effects. And the graduated filter works really well when you have a scene or a two-part scene that's fading from top to bottom and has a clear line that you can use to cut. 